Okay, so I hope this gives you a quick idea of how to check propeller shaft run out with a dial indicator. The tube shaft here, which is the outer prop shaft, has the um, aft gear welded to it. All right, I've got the dial indicator set up here in the prop shaft, and we'll make sure it's pretty centered. Dial it into zero. Make sure it's zeros. Yep, right on the money. Okay, so let's see what we got here for our prop shaft run out. Let's see if it's been zero out a couple thousands. Oof. Oh, yeah, it's been. Okay, so that's definitely a bent prop shaft. You hit it rocks really hard. And you definitely can see right in here in this area of the seal that this spring right in this area has popped out and that definitely is indicative of that seal has failed at that point as well but the big thing is that run out you know when we spin that shaft is the telltale sign six thousandths run out the tube gear shafts bent so let's take a look at the inner shaft all right i have the dial indicator zeroed and let's see what the inner shaft reads oh yeah here we go yep it's bent yep went way bad so i'm peeking out here Twelve thousandths. But now what we need to do is identify what is it? What is this drive? What is this gear ratio? So one of the things as a Volvo dealer that we do um, and as technicians is we try to determine what the overall gear ratio is. On the ID tag of the upper it is stamped it's a 1.78 gear ratio. That's the overall drive. Now there are several different lower unit gear ratios that can be mixed with upper gear ratios to make the overall drive gear ratio of that 1.78. So on the lower unit, if I can find the lower unit stamping on the back of the mini fin here, I clean this off and I verified that this letter that's stamped in here does indeed match the upper. So this is a 1.78 gear ratio. That stamping letter will tell me what the gear teeth count is in the lower unit so then I can try to go find a lower unit that has the same gear teeth count in it matched with the upper gear ratio, the gear teeth count in the upper, which will make an overall gear ratio of 1.78. So my statement here is, warning, don't just go on eBay or Marketplace or Craigslist and try to buy a, a lower unit on a Volvo product because there are several different gear ratios here and you can end up purchasing one, which is the wrong ratio. At that point now, what do you do? You've put it together and it's in the water and the, the boat doesn't perform properly. So my professional statement to you is, spend a little extra money, get an authorized Volvo dealer who works on drives to identify exactly what you have and to go find you if he can or tell you what you need for a particular gear and a gear teeth count for the lower. If in this case, the case was in good shape and the inner prop shaft, the one, the longer one, was bent, but the tube gear wasn't bent, then I would rebuild this drive because you can buy just an inner prop shaft, but the tube gear is welded to the gear and now you need a whole gear set. So if you like the video, please subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you on the next one.